Welcome to Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Steve Mum. Nice to have you along this hour. We're in the Spokane County Courthouse where they're working on opening up a, a south entrance that's been closed for some time. I'm very happy to have this hour as my guest Rebecca Schroeder who's with the uh, Cystic Fibrosis Foundation. Rebecca, what a pleasure to have you here. Thank you uh, so much. Give us just quick the first tutorial of, of what cystic fibrosis is. Okay, well cystic fibrosis is a disease, a uh, genetic disease that I learned about when my son was diagnosed just after birth. It causes the body to produce an unusually thick mucus that leads to chronic lung infections. It obstructs organs like the pancreas, um, making digestive uh, problems in the body. And really, uh, the life expectancy for someone with cystic fibrosis is shortened to an average of about 37 years right now because of those chronic uh, lung issues that develop. Now, and here's where we shift to a very, very hopeful scenario. The FDA just approved a new drug, Kaleidico, first of the year, uh, and only a very small percentage of uh, CF patients could, would, this would treat them. That's correct. About 4% of the CF population, they estimate, has the specific a genetic mutation that this drug is tailor-made to work for. And this is what your son's situation? Just happens to be one of the mutations that my son has. Yes, we're feeling extremely, extremely fortunate that uh, he's one of the first of the CF population that will be able to benefit from a gene-based therapy like and this. And you said the, the impact and the effect on him positively from taking this drug, pretty remarkable. Absolutely remarkable. Just from the third day uh, of him starting the new treatment, we noticed uh, he was breathing completely freely through his sinuses. He's had endoscopic sinus surgery already uh, before he even turned four years old, so um, breathing through his nose was something that was almost impossible for him. Um, he was breathing free freely through his nose, making a lot of comments about smells. Um, his lung health has always been very good, but we noticed a huge increase in energy in him, just sleeping better. Seems like he feels amazing overall. And then, of course, through uh, things like lab work, they can truly tell that the drug is working in his body. One of the tests that they use uh, to diagnose patients with cystic fibrosis is called the sweat test. People with CF have an abnormally high level of uh, salt in their sweat that they can measure through this test. And if you diagnose over a certain level, you have cystic fibrosis. So my son began taking this treatment and we repeated that test on him uh, in the lab after 20 days on the therapy. And he technically no longer even diagnoses positive for cystic fibrosis. I mean, this is really remarkable, the fact that this drug would only treat 4% of the people that have cystic fibrosis. And that, I mean, this is, has to have changed everything. You know, you, you, you talked about the life expectancy. He just had uh, a test that revealed that apparently a no chest CT scan, yes. No permanent damage to his lungs. That's what it showed, and we're so thankful because the idea with Kaleidico is that it can stop the progression of the disease. And having it available to him when he's only four years old is truly offering him, you know, the the chance to live a long, healthy life without so many of those life-threatening complications of cystic fibrosis. Wow, I mean, do you feel like you should go out and buy lottery tickets? Oh, I have. I have. <laughs> I haven't won the lottery yet, but I, I, I feel this huge responsibility, actually, uh, to talk about Brady's story because I think it's, it's proof that what the Cystic Fibrosis Foundation is doing and working toward is working. Yeah, so and I hate to interrupt because I want to cover a lot of ground quickly. One, other research obviously is important. You've got a big fundraiser coming up that, that funds that. Talk about that and talk about where that money's needed for research. We have several local events coming up. There's a sip and dip on April 25th at uh, the Melting Pot. We also have, uh, I host a golf tournament tournament at the Coeur d'Alene Resort called On Par for, your, for a Cure on May 11th. And then of course we have our uh, Great Strides Walk on June 2nd here in Spokane. And the reason why it's so important to keep those fundraisers going and keep that money flowing to the Cystic Fibrosis Foundation is that they have a huge pipeline of drugs um, moving To be tested. I apologize. We are going to have to leave it there. Okay. We have time. But okay. I hope people support you. Thank you so much for tuning in. See you next hour.